We're going to do it now. We're doing it. We're doing it live. We're starting off this morning with Not Without My Donuts. Let's check it out, guys. All right. Right. Did you guys catch that on the stream? Oh, you're ending it now. I understand. <laughs> so, not so that without was my donuts. Not without my donuts. Let's uh first thing that came to mind as we saw this was that uh hey, it's it's a really cute video. Um the I I liked the I liked the animation for it. And, uh, Tech, go ahead and, if you can, replay the, uh, oh, yeah, the, yeah, just the, the video background. just without yeah, audio. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, one of the things, uh, A, really adorable characterization. Um, I got a, a really big vibe off of the old, uh, Mario Brothers, you know, the, uh, the, the one where you're bouncing on the pipes. Oh, yeah, the, like the, the original, the, guys. the original Mario Yeah, Brothers. like the original Mario, um, it's interesting, though, that it's in that multiplayer arena brawler fashion. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's interesting aesthetic for, for that kind of a game. But it, 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 seems, it, it seems there's a bit of customization to it. I, I've got to admit, I love the chainsaw. The, yeah, the <laughs> chainsaw is really cool. Just adds a lot to it. The, uh, the, the coloration seems to be working out pretty well for it. And uh, I, honestly, I'm interested. Yeah, Bubble Bobble. That that's a very good, mm -hmm. uh, very good vibe for it. Yeah. So, what did you, what did you guys think on that? It's something I'm willing to try. It, anything that's multiplayer like that has automatically has uh, value. The the value and, and the potential for for at least making a fun game. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that based on that alone, it's I really it's it's just a weird um, juxtaposition because I'm not used to seeing oh. that kind of aesthetic for it that's why i was saying it was so interesting it is it is only uh local co-op it is only local co-op okay well we make sure this time unfortunately <laughs> we try to play it but uh it's just it's it's weird to see that because at first i thought it was maybe just like a platformer like like mario yeah uh but it's it's an arena brawler so um i i'm definitely willing to, to try it and uh speaking of the aesthetic too the background is a a little bit different too, just kind of like a uh, a Can water again for a us watercolor there? painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of like one of my watercolor paintings. That's what it reminds me of. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Like and, as uh, a as a child or oh no no I see what you're saying. Yeah no you see how like kind of like it's kind of runs into each other like watercolor does. Yeah I'm just, yeah. I'm also pausing it here. So you no can, that's fine. Yeah. I'm also tweeting out about the games because I need to be better on that. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, we're, and we're trying to get you guys more footage of all these awesome games <laughs> that we're talking about. Um, this game also apparently has a really awesome opening cinematic that people want to see into a cartoon series. So uh, <laughs> that is really cool idea. Yeah. So uh, Evil Eye, or that's, that's, uh, that's the, um, so different donut, that is get on it. <laughs> yeah, not without my donuts by different donut um, dot com. And uh, moving on, we have up next uh, the crow's eye. Let's check it out. April second, nineteen forty seven. Two days, and I'm not yet left this room. I'm getting paranoid. I can't stop hearing strange noises. It's almost been a week since the university was evacuated. I've been building up a fort on the third floor. In which
despite being in broad daylight, his eyes reflected darkness. His human side had been left behind. Classes isn't my thing. I don't know how long I'll be able to bear with this cover. While I'm teaching, my head spins unceasingly. Okay, so one of the first things that I notice about this is a very deep, uh, obviously this is suspense based. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, I, I'm, I'm loving the, the, the detail that they're putting into it the narrator of the audio files were really well cast. The who, whomever made the decision to do that, well, well done. Um, you know, I, Crow's I will Eye. also say that just in general, and I know you guys didn't really get a feel for it because you were listening through the stream, and I was really hoping that this was getting through, but with a nice pair of headphones on, running straight from YouTube, this thing sounds like the sound design in this game is phenomenal. It's like mind-blowing. So it's a it's a first person terror adventure um, that uh, pretty much rewards you for investigation. Um, they try and focus, according to their description, they focus much more on the playability uh, than uh, the the story and emotions and the way that that all ties in together um, over anything else. So it, it kind of it looks like it's actually uh, takes a lot of inspiration from the Resident Evil franchise um, in the sense that Resident Evil had a little bit of a crafting system involved and uh, it's very heavily adventure based which is um, what Eagle Eye is. Um, I think he I think the devs actually in the, the chat right now so if I'm wrong correct me but that's what Oh I'm yeah 3, 3D2 3D2 Entertainment Yes. Um, and uh, yeah he's he or she is in in chat, um, but uh, this actually after after listening to Matt's panel yesterday, I'm actually thinking this might be the next game that I play that does really? horror suspense. You know, I yeah, think, I think I think you would uh, I think you would be well served, um, especially from from what you've seen today, and what I've seen today, and all this like th there's there's a lot of really good game here. And it's there, very yeah, apparent. and it seems it it doesn't seem to be uh, shallow, like yeah. it it based on based on what I've seen, is uh it, it it doesn't seem like it's you know oh jump scared that it it seems to be along the lines of Hector in terms of what's going on mentally, yeah. but not uh, as but uh, disorienting. Yeah, I was gonna say Hector. I, I couldn't, I couldn't just play Hector because it started causing migraines on me. So, uh, yeah, Evil Dog, the developer is 3D2 Entertainment there in chat. Said hi, uh, everyone. That's what he said. So, thank you, thank you for joining us for that. Um, we got to move right along because of our late start. I apologize. We're running just a tad faster this morning than I was anticipating. But let's move right into Vortex Attack oh, by Kaleido huh? Games. So this is a little bit of a um, uh, longer gameplay video, but Vortex Attack is a uh, it's a shmup. It's intense. It's sort of bullet it's helly. It's a bullet hell. And you can play with your friends. <laughs> now, so, is, this, uh, is this online multiplayer? Or? Um, you know, I... No, nope, it says it's, it's local multiplayer mode, uh, but it was designed specifically for tournaments. I was going to say, uh, this would be a perfect kind of thing for an arcade cabinet, and right on yeah. your website, that's the first thing you see. I so mean, like, it's actually the, really a nice arcade and, cabinet. And, and as we were saying yesterday, um, the uh, us here love fighting with high scores, 
not, <laughs> not even not even necessarily like you know fighting with guns just fighting with high scores it's like oh yeah i was able to shoot that guy and we like to one up each other all the time point two seven seconds yeah exactly and, we, and we, having we a number compare, to prove it <laughs> we often compare uh packages <laughs> we also have the developer for for this game here uh kaleido games is in chat thank you for joining us i like um, shmups i like this game this is actually I, very a classic version looking yeah um, kind of similar to uh, uh what is that galaga what's that word? yeah thank you galaga it, it it's it, it's like a it, it's a cross between the the shmup b uh and, and bullet hell yeah uh, and i'm not like the simplicity of the base mechanic is i think something that helps carry across i'm not sure i can't quite make out what it is that they're collecting um oh but but uh, but that that being said rev you have a hard time like seeing things seeing things yeah exactly but yeah so quick question um we can move on but i just want to ask a question so we can put it in the chat is that have you had any tournaments and how did it go you can continue i just want to see right. what you say in the chat for so, Kaleido uh, games yeah. for Kaleido um, games yeah so yeah that was a very vibrant game very fast paced um I, I definitely liked the, the, the theming behind it. Yeah. Uh, I'm really interested in <laughs> doing a version with two to three bullets at a time. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are, they are uh, currently in pre-league. Okay. So. Pre awesome. So uh, next up, thank you for that, Kaleido Games. Uh, next up, we have Jaeger Strike by Uberactive Game Studios. So this is another um, uh, vertical shmup, uh, but it's got you know like 3D elements to it. It actually looks really. Um, it looks. It's it, impressive it, that they it, added it, the 3D into this. You know what it reminds yeah. me of? It reminds me of uh, Empire Earth, only like a better looking, higher res version of that of that game. Um, just like artistic styling, um, and okay. I and I love those games, um, like. Just even the style alone is like really, really interesting, and the 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 different you know level design with the uh, environmental stuff that you have to interact with, and it's a little bit of a slower paced shmup. I don't think this is quite as much of a bullet hell. Uh, as yeah, the last it doesn't. We talked it doesn't about. look to be. So like but thematically, it, it's a, you know, it's a different beast altogether. Right. It, but it I, seems to be almost like a, a puzzle. A, a puzzle shoot him up yeah definitely i i just a general comment too i'm i'm really happy to see that people are getting really excited about these games yeah people like <laughs> immediately as soon as they saw this they wanted to jump all over this yeah so i'm glad i'm hoping that des will uh get some uh and, customers today and this fans. game is uh is for mobile it is uh maybe which actually, uh, no, it is. Um, well, I, I know. I clicked on their store page. Uh, so you can get it for a certain amount of euro. It is also on Congregate. Oh, it is also on Congregate. Awesome. Yeah. But right. uh, mostly mostly on, on uh, mobile, there's a paid version where you don't have to deal with ads. Yeah. But there's also a free version where... Um, Sorry about that weird video ads. hookup there. So, yeah. Um, they have uh, three difficulty levels... Uh, ten total missions with extremely challenging bosses from their description. Uh, you can... Uh, I, there, there's an award system in-game for, for accomplishing. This seems like a really solid game, and I feel, I feel bad having it next to Vortex Attack because I instantly want to start comparing the two. But you can't. And, They're different games. But it, Yeah, you, totally you, you can't. Vortex, Vortex Attack was a much more frenetic pace. And, and not and, to and mention it, this is on mobile, which I, I feel like a shmup with is this, too many bullets. 
Yeah, on, on, mobile. on mobile. Yeah, that could be exactly it. We're looking, we're looking at it, going, oh yeah, no, I could play that, but on on a cell phone, like no, I don't don't know as that would. Yeah. Um, Especially I like with the, the, the with the two player element of Vortex Attack, which is a huge, huge yeah. plot. Yeah, huge. I, I, I going. It's funny going from the really fast paced of Vortex Attack into Jaeger Strike. I was looking at Jaeger Strike and I was like, it's going a little slow. But then, like as you know, y you you learn more about the environment and everything you're interacting. That that pace is really like welcoming and kind of nice yeah. because mm. you can feel a little bit more badass. So, yeah, I get you definitely. So uh, let's move on. Now we are going to do some re showcasing. Uh, I figure we won't show the the videos. We'll just play them in the background while we uh, while we talk over them. We have about ten minutes. Okay. That is fine. So uh, uh, you can talk about this one, Rev. First, uh, choke point is first. We are going from uh, last to first. Uh, choke point. <laughs> if you caught the end of our uh, of of yesterday, we talked about Evil Dogs um, uh, Arena shooter brawler game that you can play online right now for free. This is an old build uh, that was online. You there is a bunch more cool stuff. You can find it on a bunch of different websites. Uh, lots he's been of he's been doing uh, update last night so that he could prep for you know some play today. Yeah. Uh, so Evil Dog Games uh, and uh, damn, it's uh, it's fun. There's a lot of customization. There's a lot of game here. And e Evil Dog's uh, kindly uh, giving out the link to his private server so people can play on there. Yeah. Which I will. Because... Supports up to what eight people? Thank you. Yeah, eight people. It's because uh, Armor Games doesn't uh, doesn't pay them. They're douchebags. <laughs> uh, we also are going to be re-showing uh, Vector Studios Serious Online. Uh, as Josh and them said yesterday, uh, we first saw this game at Indie 3. The amount of improvement that I have seen in the last year from this game uh, is amazing. Uh, it, it's uh, it, it pretty fast paced. It's a it. it uh, I, how do I? I, ju I just love how deep this game is. To be honest, I, I I mean you can you can play it fast paced where you're you know constantly in space and spaceship fights and <laughs> you know, things here, like that. But here's something what? that I here's something that I wanted to bring up. Uh, I, I forgot to bring up yesterday because this is a this isn't a space you know ship MMO. Yeah. Um, you know all those spaceship MMOs that are coming out, and they're coming out, and they're coming out like eight, eight years late. <laughs> and they're like indie games that have made tons of money, and everyone's like, I'm so excited. And it's like, that's probably a scam. The fact that they're working on this and the fact that you can like play this right now just goes yeah. to show that, that a, a studio with, uh, with enough passion to make a fun game will make a fun game. And I highly recommend you check this out. Please. Instead, I mean, instead I, of waiting for something that'll never, never, never show up or live up, to and never show up or might not ever. And show I was up. mentioning, I mean, I was mentioning yesterday the thing that I really like about it is the fact that you can play fast paced like Rev was saying, but you can also find your own little corner of the universe and, and just, just chill out, chill yeah. out, do whatever you need to do. You can harvest and uh, set up your own little base and all that sort of stuff. Definitely. Uh, so next, we have a very exciting uh, uh, re showcasing of Icebound. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Icebound is a uh, multi-award winning, uh, yeah, augmented reality game that you play with your iPad and a physical book. Uh, you have an a there's an AI that you're trying to show that you know far in the future with an author dying and you're trying to recreate the book that he never was able to finish using context clues and stuff that you find in the book that you might not see. Like there, you can see this text that isn't in the book. Uh, super it innovative. Changes, it changes based on your decisions earlier. Yeah. Like, and that, that so was, like your, your, your worldview and your perspective at that time will make this game different. Becomes part of that story. Yeah, I yeah. Just, and again, how you read. How many, yeah. how, how many of you who read? <laughs> how many of you who read go back and reread books? Uh, never. Absolutely. I do. I've never. I know there are some people that do. But this book will make you want to reread your book because yeah. you're going to always get a different ending. It's always different. Yeah. And every, you, you can every always, time. And this is this this would be such a good like learning tool. 
because you're you're turning learning and you're turning like uh, constructive and could you imagine reading? Could you imagine a game? Could you imagine doing? Could you imagine doing? Could you imagine doing like school books like this? Oh yeah, like interactive awesome. interactive history. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would. I would. Damn! Now I need to get an iPad so I can get this, so I can use it on my kids. These guys, if these guys really work at this, yeah, uh, I think they I could, think that they could I do think, a lot. I think this <laughs> this this format could be like, well, the I mean, I know there's a lot of talk and and we don't have a lot of time, uh, but uh, education is a really tricky thing. I think this would be a really fun way to teach some kids. Uh, I'm not mm-hmm. saying it's the end all goal. I would have learned better with this. I think it's really cool. It, I would have definitely caught my interest. Yeah, definitely. Video games right. plus school, hell yeah. Last uh, last game, this one was actually uh, another one that was kind of a hidden gem for I mean, we saw them at yeah. MAGFest, but it really didn't. Um, it kind of was like an, a blip on our radar at that time. This time, now that we're actually really diving into it, uh, we're really super excited, and so were a lot of people from yesterday. Dr. Space Zoo... Uh, or uh, the alternate title, How I Learned to Stop Shooting and Save the Animals. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Best title. Uh, uh, it is a uh, top-down bullet hell uh, where you're piloting a ship that is shooting a bunch of bullets, trying to avoid other bullets uh, while saving animals and trying to beat the time so that your zoo doesn't explode because the AI has gone rogue and wants to kill everything and everyone around it while keeping the animals nice and safe in the little boxes. So. And this is by this is uh, by Smash Riot. Uh, oh, LLC. nice name! I like that name. I don't know Smash why. Smash Riot it doesn't. Smash Riot is in the <laughs> chat, by the way. You can ask him questions if you're interested. Yeah, Feel free. And, and, and this was a this was a really popular audience uh, audience choice. Yeah. Uh, from yesterday, so one of the things that I really like about this game, in addition to the smoothness of of the feature, uh, is the blend between modern technique and retro nostalgia story like like it i i'm, I'm loving that that you know, juxtaposition you know, there I, where on the one hand you're like oh hey this looks like that old nes game that that i used to play and then you go in and it's just like Wah, modern fun Wah. and i think i think i know why that's so good it's so good because of like you don't i didn't even notice it like it was just like oh yeah all this fits yeah, together it, everything's it's perfect built in perfectly and then, yeah it was really great uh we could talk about this way more if we had the time uh unfortunately we have an amazing panel coming up uh jay tholen uh the developer of dropsy the clown 